Biography of Omar Hazan Ahmad al-Bashar. Omar Hazan Ahmad al-Bashar, born 1st January 1944, is a Sudanese politician who is currently the seventh president of Sudan and the head of the National Congress Party. He came to power in 1989 when, as a brigadier in the Sudanese army, he led a group of officers in a military coup that ousted the democratically elected government of Prime Minister Sadiq al Mahdi after it began negotiations with rebels in the south. Since then, he has been elected three times as president in elections that have been under scrutiny for corruption. In March 2009, Al Bashar became the first sitting president to be indicted by the International Criminal Court (ICC) for allegedly directing a campaign of mass killing, rape, and pillage against civilians in Darfur. In October 2005, Al Bashar's government negotiated an end to the Second Sudanese Civil War, leading to a referendum in the south, resulting in the separation of the south and the separate country of South Sudan. In the region of Darfur, he was saw war in Darfur that resulted in death tolls that are about 100,000, according to the Sudanese government. But most sources suggested between 200,000 and 400,000. During his presidency, there have been several violent struggles between the Janjaweed militia and rebel groups such as Sudanese Liberation Army (SLA) and Equality Movement (GEM) in the form of guerrilla warfare. The civil war has displaced over 2.5 million people out of a total population of 6.2 million in Darfur and has created a crisis in the diplomatic relations between Sudan and Chad. The rebels in Darfur lost their support from Libya after the death of Muhammad Gaddafi and the collapse of his regime in 2011. In July 2008, the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court ICC, Louis Moreno Ocampo, accused Al-Bashar of genocide, crime against humanity and war crimes in Nafor. The court issued an arrest warrant for Al-Bashar on 4th of March 2009 on count of war crimes and crimes against humanity, but ruled that there was insufficient evidence to prosecute him for genocide. However, on July 12, 2010, the court issued a second warrant containing three separate counts. The new warrants, as with the first, were delivered to the Sudanese government, which did not recognize it nor the ICC. The indictments do not allege that Bashar personally took part in such activities. Instead, they say he is suspected of being criminally responsible as an indirect corporate preacher. Some international experts think it is unlikely that Ocampo has enough evidence. The court's decision is opposed by the African Union, League of Arab States, non ally movement and the governments of Russia and China. Al-Bashar was born in Hosh Bananga, just north of the capital, Khartoum, to the family of Arab descent. He belongs to Abedaria Adamashia, a tribe belonging to the larger Jani coalition, an Arab tribe in the middle north of Sudan, in the past as part of the Kingdom of Egypt and Sudan. He received his primary education there, and his family later moved to Khartoum, where he completed his secondary education. Al-Bashar is married to his cousin, Fatima Khalid. He also has a second wife named Wida Babika, Amen.